much, much. Commiserations on defeat. How do you feel? No, I feel alright. My team played very well. You know, shouldn't shouldn't have lost that game. Just didn't take our chances in front of goal. So good luck to Northwest Wanderers. You know, they've done the job on us. It was like the game yesterday, United City. We we were City, we had all the ball, United caught them on the counter attack, and that's what happened today. Northwest did a job on us, you know, they defended well. And when when it mattered to go and score goals, they scored the goals. That's what it is. It was a very competitive, very closely fought game. It seems like you think it was a bit of a smash and grab, is that right? I believe it was. I mean, you know, if you watch the game back and you run, you know, I normally run the game back in my head and I can see the possession was always in their half. It very rarely come over to ours and, uh, and when it did, you know, we, we battled, we won the ball back and again, once again, you know, it was just in their half and their goalkeeper, hence why their goalkeeper's man of the match. You don't give man of the match to a goalkeeper if it's a fairly fought game. Well, it was a great strike from your 21, uh, Ali Sharif, to bring it to 1-1. What was going through your head of sidelines at that point? Well, at the sidelines at 1-0, I was thinking, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not going to happen for us today. Like I said, their goalkeeper was, you know, um, saved the penalty in the first half, pulled off some dramatic saves, uh, one-on-ones, and it just didn't look like we were going to score. And then Ali just hit that ball top in. So, I mean, that was a beautiful strike. Beautiful strike. He had a chance from before, from the free kick, which hit the crossbar. Um, but that was amazing. That was such a good shot. You had an absolutely must-score chance late in the second half. Uh, your number 11, Omar, coming in at the back post. Can you tell us about how that made you feel? Oh, it, was a, it was just a goal written all over it. And I don't know what went through his head. First time hit, he just went for power rather than position. If he just placed it, side foot, it was a definite goal. You know, and we had an opportunity after that as well. Uh, our captain Anthony, you know, the ball bounced in front of him. He was one on one with the keeper, and just didn't place it. Just didn't place it. That was the day today. You know, it was, it was an unfortunate thing. Uh, you know, we had a bad game, bad day in front of goal. Let's put it that way. Well, it certainly is confusing how you find yourself in this predicament with the quality of football that you showed out there. This defeat opens up a 12-point gap between you and Northwest Wanderers. Where do you think you're going to be at the end of the season? Uh, I mean, at the beginning, if you asked me at the beginning of the season, I would have said we would have been top two. But now, you know, throughout the season, we've lost some silly games and uh, we're just going to be a mid-table, really. We're staying in the division, you know. I don't think we're going to go any further than probably fourth. Are there any cups that you're targeting in the back of your head? Yeah, we've got the, I can't remember what it's called, the, the Challenge Cup, whatever it is. So we're just going to go all guns blazing for that one. Well, good luck in the cup and in the league. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you very much.